Welcome to the show. I'm Corinne. And I'm LaShondra, and together we're KNL Everyday CNAs. Mm -hmm. This month, the 28th of April, is known as Superhero Day. It was created by Marvel Comics in 1995. They wanted to know how people felt about superheroes. This day grew over the years to celebrate fictional and real heroes. Children's hospitals were overrun with them bringing smiles and courage to all the loved ones. Mm -hmm. When the pandemic hit, superheroes took on a new look. The heroes became our healthcare workers, putting their own lives in danger to serve others. Instead of carrying swords, shields, and wearing colorful costumes or capes, you've seen them with their PPE, personal protective equipment, masks that hid their smiles as well as their tears. CNAs are our superheroes here at NACA, saying the lives of the ones that were forgotten. And not just because of the pandemic did healthcare employees become heroes. Mm -hmm. They have always been in the background taking care of the sick, disabled, and our elders. From the nursing home, assisted living, hospital, home health, hospice, and private duty, CNA's men and women have been on the front lines for decades, fighting for their residents, patients, clients, mm -hmm. and individuals. Yeah. NACA, the National Association of Healthcare Assistants, salute all who have played a role working the front lines as well as the back lines. Throughout this historical event, and will continue to do so long after it is gone, CNAs have become infected with the virus, some losing their lives, others recovering but having long-term health issues as well. We as an association are very proud of our members, our CNAs. Thank you from the bottom of our hearts for your unselfishness of your own lives to save others. Know that our prayers are with you daily and we continue to fight on your behalf. Yes, so thank you on behalf of all of us here and from LaShonda and I as well. <laughs>